a very warm welcome to our next project. The next project is about continuous delivery for Docker containers. You can say for or off Docker containers. In this project, we will be continuously building Docker images and deploying it to Kubernetes cluster. So let's understand the scenario, problem statement and solution. We'll understand when such projects are implemented. You will see mostly such project in microservice architecture. But, it not, but it's not just about microservice architecture. Anywhere you have containers, Docker containers, there you can implement such kind of projects. But mostly today is the time of microservice architecture. And if an application has microservice design, then they will be containerizing the application. So you would have a containerized application, probably Docker images. And then the developers are making continuous code changes. They are making the product better and better and better. So the build and release and ops team really need to cope up with this regular code changes. So with continuous code changes, there has to be continuous build and test process. It has to be regular build of your containers. And if your containers are getting built regularly, it needs to be deployed regularly. Now possibly the container images can be automated locally itself, building of container images, but the deployment goes to the operations team. And operations team will be maintaining and managing container orchestration tool like Kubernetes cluster. And they will be in charge of running your containers. So the request goes to the ops team to deploy Docker images on any container runtime environment like Docker. So we know there will be continuous code changes, continuous building of images. So the ops team will get continuous deployment requests. Now, first of all, the manual deployment process creates a dependency. Here the dev team is dependent on the ops team for the, de for the deployment, which really breaks the chain of continuous delivery. And of course it's time consuming. So primarily we need to automate the build and release process of container images. As we are building continuously Docker images, we also need to deploy it continuously and this should be as fast as the code commits are happening. So as soon as a developer makes a code change, we should automatically build a Docker image and should be able to also deploy it automatically to an orchestration environment like Kubernetes. So we need to have a continuous deployment process. So yes, we are talking about a continuous delivery or a continuous deployment pipeline for our Docker containers. So in this project, we are going to use a variety of tools. Let's see the tools that we're going to use in this project. Starting with Kubernetes cluster, which will be our container orchestration tool and Docker engine, which we'll be using to build our Docker images and also to test our Docker images. Jenkins will be using as a CI/CD server, Docker Hub where we'll be hosting our Docker images. Helm will be using for packaging and deploying our images to Kubernetes cluster. And not just Docker images, the complete stack of our application we can deploy with Helm and that's what we're going to do. We'll be using Git as a version control system. Maven to build our Java code and a Sonar Cube server for the code analysis. The objective of this project is very simple. We have to do continuous delivery for containers, especially the Docker containers. All right, let's see the architectural design for this project. Okay, so when the developer makes a code change to the Git repository, 
it will be committed to GitHub. We're going to push the code to GitHub. Jenkins is going to fetch the code and this code will also include Docker file which will be used to build the Docker image. Jenkins file, we're going to use pipeline as a code and also the Helm charts. So Jenkins is going to fetch all the changes. We'll do its test. We'll do the code analysis by using Checkstyle and SonarCube scanner and we'll upload the result to SonarCube server. I'm going to use SonarCube server in this project. If you wish to use a Sonar Cloud, you can do that. If all the quality gates are good on the code, then we're going to build the artifact with Maven and then a Docker build process will start, which will build Docker image. If everything is good and everything passes, then the Docker image will be pushed to Docker Hub, where we are going to maintain our Docker, Docker repository. If this push is successful, then we're going to use Helm from Jenkins. We're going to basically add our COPS VM as a slave and we're going to run Helm from there. So Jenkins will be running Helm charts, will deploy Helm charts to the Kubernetes cluster. This Helm chart deployment will create everything for us if we wish to. Like along with pods running through deployments, we can also set up services, secrets, volumes, everything through Helm charts. If you already have th those things, it will only implement the changes, like a new image tag for an application pod. So let's see now the flow of execution step by step what we are going to do in this project and then we'll implement all this. We need to have a continuous integration setup. We need a Jenkins a Sonar Cube Nexus. We can skip if you want. Basically similar setup as we did in the continuous integration project. We need a Docker Hub account. You can use the same as you used in the containerization project. If you wish, you can create a new Docker Hub account also. We're going to then store the Docker Hub credential in Jenkins. We're going to set up Docker engines, Docker engine in Jenkins. We'll need few extra plugins along with we, what we already have for continuous integration. We'll need a Docker pipeline plugin, Docker plugin and pipeline utility plugin. We're going to use pipeline as a code in this project. So we need the pipeline utility plugin. Then we'll create Kubernetes cluster with COPS as we did in the Kubernetes setup project. So you should have done already all the prerequisites for COPS. We're just going to run the command to run the Kubernetes, to create the Kubernetes cluster by using COPS. Then we'll install Helm in the COPS VM. We're going to have COPS on an EC2 instance as we have Jenkins, Sonar, Cube and Nexus. We'll also have COPS VM from where we, the COPS EC2 instance from where we'll create the Kubernetes cluster and we install Helm in that. Then we'll create Helm charts. We'll be also putting variables on in them for our application image. And then we'll test the charts in the Kubernetes cluster in the test namespace. We'll create a namespace and we're going to test our charts in that. Here when I say charts, that means your entire stack, our entire V profile stack in this case. We're going to add our COPS VM, the COPS EC2 instance as a Jenkins slave. We'll create a pipeline code. It's going to be, it's going to be declarative where we'll mention the build, test, Docker build process and Helm chart deployment process. We then need to update our Git repository with Helm charts that we have created, Docker file for our application image and Jenkins file where we created the pipeline code. Once we have all this ready, we're going to create a Jenkins job for pipeline. We're going to run and test it. Okay, then what are we waiting for? Let's just dive in. 